tracks then go crazy. What's going on, my good folks? It's your man, your guy, your boy, 1127 Kicks. I hope everybody out there is having a great day, an amazing day, and overall a blessed day. Say, man, if you're new to the channel, do your boy a huge favor, and it's free. Hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe to the page. And if you're already with the movement, bro, I greatly appreciate you, man. Hit that like button, share this video, and let's go ahead and keep this page growing. So, man, it's about that time. We a few days outside of this release, man. And this shoe is very, very hyped. Out of all the Air Georges that have come out this year, I will put this in the top three as far as hype goes. And the shoe that I am talking about is the Air Jordan 4 University Blue Joints, man, or the UNCs. Now, we about to do this How to Cop video. And basically with the How to Cops, man, if you're new to the channel, we're going to talk about resale, where you can find the shoe. You know, how I feel about the shoe personally. Do I think the shoe's gonna sell out? And other things of that nature, man. So sit back, relax, post up, and enjoy the video. So man, just getting into the shoe. As y'all can see, man, there's really nothing too crazy going on with the shoe. As you can see, we have an all blue, university blue Air Jordan 4, man. You got your hints of that semen gray on the shoe, man. And then also, if you have the Oregon 5s or if you have the uh, Michigan fives that came out in previous years you know on the back they have that team jordan you know patch on there and they actually put it on the tongue of this shoe now i know a lot of people wasn't really feeling that but as you know release date and stuff gets closer people's energy started to change there's a few early reviews out there as well and they honestly don't really look that bad in my personal opinion now let's go ahead and talk about this resale real quick because i know that's what everybody truly cares about so now when you look at stock x bro this shoe is pretty much 450 and up that's how much the shoe is going for right now now of course we're a few days outside of release day so i do expect the price to go down maybe just a little bit you feel me just a little bit right before release but of course after release day i expect that price to shoot up but at the same time it's still an air jordan 4 uh, no disrespect to the Air Jordan 4. It's not too many Air Jordan 4s that I see that sell for 400 or whatever off the rip. But as of right now, on StockX, what you're looking at is 450 plus. So any anything is looking like a great profit if you get the shoe and you want to resell it. And when you look at GOAT, same thing, 450 plus. You cannot miss when it comes to this shoe right here. You are bound to make yourself some pretty decent money when it comes to this shoe. I definitely feel like, you know, mmm. If we're going off prices right now, it's looking like you can make a good 250 off the shoe. Now, I definitely feel like you can do that locally, but also I say right after release, I think this shoe will probably go for 350, 375, maybe all the way up into like 400, 420, something like that or whatever. But I think it will eventually balance out around that 400 range after a while and then, it'll, it'll, you know, creep up. But regardless, you look looking at at least making 175 to 200 dollars worth of profit when it actually comes to this shoe and that's just in my personal opinion right there now man as far as where you can buy the shoe this shoe is releasing in a variety of places and i will have a raffle list up man i was trying to find the actual store list for you guys but i wasn't able to actually find a store list like i usually have but i do have the raffle list and i do know about a few places where this shoe is actually releasing now shout out to everybody who hit on the finish line app as far as the raffle goes i know finish line did theirs i know you can put your reservation in right now for foot locker i think you're all the way up until the 27th that's when they're going to start selecting winners so right now with the other places that we're looking at you know just to give y'all a good you know outlook we got foot action foot locker champs east bay finish line jd sports is getting the shoe chic is getting the shoe snipes is getting this shoe jimmy jazz is getting this shoe dtlr is getting this shoe man it's a variety of places that's getting this shoe man for real for real and it's a lot of raffles that's actually out there now one thing i do want to say is is about you know as far as all the places that this shoe is actually releasing you know sometimes we don't know how limited shoes are and dude that is still covid Nike and Jordan brand just haven't been making as many pairs of Jordans as they have been making pre-COVID. So I don't know how limited this shoe is actually going to be. So even though it's releasing in, in a variety of places, you know, like I say in other videos, you got 10 foot lockers in your area. You feel what I'm saying? And if, you know, all of them might be, might be getting the shoe, you feel me? But at the same time, you got to look at it like this. 
you know, some stores maybe have 10 pairs. This store maybe have five pairs. One store might have 50 pairs. So we don't know, you know, how limited the quantities are, but it is releasing in, in a variety of places and it's a full family size and shoe. So I do expect it to be, you know, quite a bit of pairs out there. I really don't expect to see crazy L's over the shoe. I really don't expect to see, you know, hyper royal issues when it comes to the shoe. Now this shoe will sell out instantly this will be a quick sellout shoe i don't think this is a shoe that's going to sit um i do think there's probably might be a little bit of restocks on this shoe but as far as like release date and everything this shoe is going to fly out the door it is going to fly out the door so when it comes to that man make sure you got your payment information good make sure you got your billing information on point man if you're going for this shoe and you're on the sneakers app and if you want to use two devices make sure they're not all under the same wi-fi because if it is nike's going to recognize that it's all under the same ip address and they're going to cancel them orders man because that's looking bot like you feel what i'm saying and then also this shoe is a draw on the sneakers app 10 a.m easter time man and pretty much what it's been looking like i guess you know nike maybe feels like that's the better way for them to release their shoes right now maybe that's the best way that they can fight against bots but you know the draw is still it's still something tough to really just to hit on just to be honest with you i've only hit on one draw and that was the Travis Scott Lowe's, and I believe that was back in 2019. I haven't hit on a draw ever since then. You feel me? So it's been, like, really tough to hit on draws, but at the same time, that's the best way that Nike can actually fight bots. I totally understand it. You know, hopefully we could get more pairs so it could go back to those Leo drops, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. Now, how I personally feel about this shoe, like I said, of course it's going to sell out you know i think it's going to resell for a lot now me personally this shoe had to grow on me i'm really curious about what it looks like in the hand and that's the reason why that like, i will go for this shoe you feel me but at the same time when i seen images of this shoe i'm not gonna lie i was that person that was pretty much like hey you know i'm fortunate enough to say that i had the air jordan travis scott fours and when i looked at that shoe i was just pretty much like i have an all blue you know air jordan 4 you know the travis scott 4 is pretty much like a powder blue color instead of university blue color but at the same time i was just like it's still an all blue 4 i had that in my collection i really didn't see the point again this unc's but um i believe yeah jd sneaker guy i was on the live with you know him on Kicknology's channel, shout out to both of them. And he actually, you know, pulled that shoe out. And I was like, man, my energy just changed a whole lot when I seen that shoe, I'm not even gonna lie. And I really like that cement hint on there as well. And I'm noticing they've been throwing that cement hint on a few pair of Air Jordan 4s, on man. On top of that, those Oreo 4s, the reverse joints that's supposed to be coming out, they had that, you know, little bit of cement in them too. So that's just letting me know, man, I think there might be a pair of Air Jordan white cement 4s that's around the corner, man, because we haven't got them since 2016. It's 2021, so it's been five years. So, you know, I just, I just can't wait to see what they do with that, but they have been throwing the cement, you know, color blocking, you know, or just cement hints on a lot of Air Jordan 4s lately. But that's just my personal opinion. I think it's dope. I will be going for this shoe. I don't know if I'll, you know, keep it personally. If I don't, most likely I'll be doing the giveaway. If I do like it, I will be keeping them. I ain't gonna lie, but we'll just see. But let me know how y'all feel about this shoe in the conversation below. Is this a cop? Is this a drop, man? Is this shoe that you just pretty much good on? Or is this something that you really need? Or do you just want to resell the shoe? Just let me know how y'all feel. Make sure y'all stay blessed, stay safe, man. And y'all already know how we finna end the video off. If you search for good, you shall find the favor. If you search for evil, it shall find you. Proverbs 11, 27. And we walk in faith and not by sight. For what is seen is temporary, what is unseen is forever. I live by that. I stand by that. Stay blessed. Stay safe. And it's your boy, 1127 Kicks. And always remember, bless your feet with something. Who done hit me up and told me shit on these niggas? Cause these niggas out here came at you going, showing the different. Keep on dropping all of that shit that made you for wanna listen. You know these niggas ain't fucking telling. Get out of here.